My husband brought me home a stack of these composition books that he picked up in a um, discount bin at a dollar store, thinking I could use them in my studio. I watched a lot of different videos by searching altered composition book in YouTube, and I've kind of combined some of the ideas that I saw, added a few of my own to create this piece. So I don't want to take credit for the idea, but I do want to share with you what I've done with these books. My name is Peg. I hope you'll hop over to Facebook and join me in my newly created group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media, where we can share ideas and inspire one another. And of course, I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media, and I hope you will subscribe and come along, junk journal with me, do some altered books. I have a number of different little DIY projects in my channel. And that notification bell will let you know when new content is added. So to start with, I gel printed a bunch of different pages in the blues that I wanted to use, which is a cloud gray and a phalo blue. Both are Arteza colors. I love drink. I then took them to my cutter and just cut them into odd shapes and sizes, all rectangle squares, um, just creating myself um, some media that I could use to glue onto the book. But one of the ladies that I had watched had added texture to her space by embossing all the different pieces, and I thought that was a great idea. As you know, I love my embosser, so I selected some folders and took these pieces into my Big Shot, ran them through and created some texture. And you can see here what lovely um, depth and dimension that adds to your piece. So once I chose my color palette, had my paper, I picked that cloud gray from Arteza and painted my spine of the book. I didn't want to just leave it black. So I did just give it a nice coat, dried, and coated it once again. So it does have two coats. And I protected that with a little bit of Mod Podge later on in the project. And then I just, um, grab some denim out of my favorite pair of blue jeans. It had to be sacrificed and created a little pen loop. Mm. And I'm just going to use glitter glue to glue this on. I thought about stapling, but then decided that that would create a lump I didn't want. So I just glued it on with my glitter glue and it, it it's holding just fine. <clears throat> And now I'm just going to position all of these papers. Um, I'm going to glue them down first with a little bit of glitter glue, and I'll come back over them with um, some Mod Podge. But I want to make sure that, that they are on here secu securely. And I'm just going to position and place, overlapping them. I'm not really paying too much attention. I did another one of these and I patchworked it in and did it like a puzzle so the pieces weren't overlapping. That was a lot of work. <laughs> and I think that overlapping them just makes sense. It doesn't detract from anything. And I'm just going to get these all laid on front and back and cover the outside of this composition journal. Now the Mod Podge, I do make my own. You can see that it's in, um, you know, some random tub here and you can find the video on how I do that linked in the description. And this is the other book that I created that I that I pieced together by not overlapping. I did that in a darker color, and I'm just going to Mod Podge both of them at the same time to protect 
protect the paper. Now just trim, trimming around the outside edges. And looking for any, any little spot that might be loose and hitting that with some glitter glue. And I will do that over and over just to make sure we don't have anything that might um, create a tear spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then, see, this is coming together nice. I, I love that blue and the denim, I think, works well with it. And now, I, th I kind of, I love the texture, so I'm going to add a little bit more. So I've chosen this stencil, and I'm just going to randomly um, texture in threes on the front and back of this book and just give it a, a second layer of texture. We have the texture with the embossing in the paper and now I'm adding some additional texture with the texture paste and uh, allowing that to dry and coming back with a, with a light sand just to remove any really rough rough spot and again I make my own texture paste it's very easy to do of course the link will be in the description on how to do that and now that the outside is finished and and I loved how the denim looks so I cut a good piece out of out of what I have on hand and I'm going to cover both the inside and the back inside front and inside back with that denim I'm using just a little fabric tech to glue it down And I'm going to take my ruler and smooth this out to make sure that I don't have any any little lumps in here. Ensuring that it is firmly glued. And there you have it, nice and dry, ready to be trimmed. So the pocket, I had the leg here that had the hem in it, and I thought, oh, that would make a very cool pocket top. So I have pulled some file folder in to add a little strength to that pocket, and I'm just going to ink that up and glue it down to this denim. And then we'll trim around it and, and let it dry. And then glue it in as our pocket in the front cover of this little composition book. Trim, being careful not to cut off my pin loop. And just going around and making sure that everything is securely glued. And now to add the pocket, I'm just going to create that top placement pocket. To add something to put in that pocket, I have a bunch of these embossed pieces of paper left over from creating the cover. So I'm going to just secure them to a file folder to add a little strength, some copy dyed paper to create just a little journaling card to slip down inside that pocket. I'm going to ink around the outside edge of it. And now that that pocket is finished, I would like to add some bookmarks into this. And I have pulled out some blue sari silk. I'm going to cut a strip out of a file folder and cover it with the paper that we had left over. Just gluing that down. We'll pull the crocodile in and punch a little hole in the top, tie that sari silk through and trim off the around the corners at the bottom and ink that up and we have two little bookmarks that we can place inside that composition journal. So to kind of finish it off, we have the pocket in the front, 
the two little composition journals and I've decided to punch a little hole in the corner to add a boho bead. And the video where I create the boho bead is linked in the description as well as, as here. But I think that adds a little interest to the side of that book, just adding that little boho bead. And that pretty well finishes up the front of the book. The pin holder lays here nicely with a nice little fit for the pin. And we'll add this uh, leaf print that I created in a previous project. I'll link that in the description as well that I've decided to just add into the back to create some interest and a nice little surprise in the back of the book. We'll just glue that down with some Fusion. I have it glued down and, and have decided I like this orientation better. So before that glue adheres, we'll switch it and flip it. And that completes this project. It is a very simple way to create a nice gift, a nice journal, full of texture, full of color. Anything you want to use with it, you can use your scraps. But look at the dimension on this front cover. The texture is, it feels really good just to rub your hand over and the denim on the inside with the little pocket makes it nice as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Again, my name is Peg and my channel, Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Please hit that subscribe button and join me for future endeavors. And the notification bell will let you know when we upload additional content. Hop over to Facebook and join us. Thanks. Bye. For